Good morning, welcome back to the channel everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood Armenian back with another video. Today we have something really special planned. I am actually on my way to meet up with a buddy of mine who just picked up his brand new Acura Integra Type S. So we're going to go over, basically going to do a quick comparison of my GR Corolla Circuit Edition with his Integra Type S, take a quick look around, maybe get a quick drive in the passenger seat, see how the Integra Type S is and whatnot. But this should be interesting since I haven't seen one of these in person yet, so I'm looking forward to it. And he got a really special color, so I'll save that to when we go meet up with him in just a minute. The car sounds so good. It also doesn't help that it's like a million degrees today. I'm already sweating. I just got out of the house too, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, damn. There he is. What an eye-catching color. Tiger Eye Pearl. Two sixty-five wide tires all around on a front-wheel drive car. That is insane. I can't believe it. Brembo brakes. All right, so this is my buddy Tanasi's brand spanking new Integra Type S in Tiger Eye Pearl. This thing, so photos don't do this this car justice. Okay, I don't know if you're gonna make it out in the camera either, but the metallic fleck in the paint. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It is stunning. It's like, you can't, I can't tell. It's like orange, gold, yellow. It's like a mix of all the, all the colors. Uh, I think it looks amazing. Look at the wider fender flares. So one thing to note, the front, it's blended into the body panel. So it's not tacked on, even though it kind of looks like it. However, when we go to the rear, you can see on the rear quarter and on the door, they're tacked on pieces. Still looks aggressive as hell. And then of course, the exhaust in the back. I can't wait to hear this thing. More aggressive than the Type R. Very much looking forward to hearing that. Gloss black accents everywhere. So the interior starting up. Okay, this gear lever is phenomenal. Let me just lower the fan speed here for a second so you can hear me. This gear lever, oh my god. Reminds me of my FA5 back in the day. This thing, oh, I thought the one in the GR Corolla was amazing. No way. This thing is incredible. Oh my god, wow. So here we go. We got the drive modes here. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to take a quick look at the gauge display. If we switch through, looks like comfort, sport, sport plus. Got different colors in the background. Other than that, not too much changes. Of course, driving mode changes, but as far as aesthetics go, it's just a color background. And I am curious. In Sport Plus, in gear. Have you heard this thing pop and crackle in Sport? Wow. That sounds good. It's like just the right amount of like, just the right amount of burble and pop and crackle. It's like oh, that got even louder. <laughs> That is nice, man. Thank you. Very nice. I'll send you another one. There's a big, it can actually do a big pop yeah. like right in the back, but it only lets me rev the floor. That sounds so good. It's like a classy, like a classy burble. Like, I like it. Just, just the right amount. 
This is like the individual, so the Sport plus exhaust, Sport engine, and then I set everything else to comfort because I'm okay. a, a princess. No, no, I get that. Trust me. We're not, we're not uh, 18 years old anymore. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Whoa. That picks up hard. Rev match yeah. works really well too. Wow. I mean, we can all do it for ourselves. But, True. You know. Oof. Wow. It goes. It just keeps going. Yeah. That's un unbelievable. It's very naturally aspirated. Do you have any intentions of tuning this thing or getting more power out of it or anything like that? To be frank, like I think for me the engine power is right where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I would want to do like wheels and tires to downsize from the 19s to 18s with a thicker tire. Okay. And honestly, that might be it for me. No, it's fair. I mean, the 320 is not not the fastest car in the world, but for me, for like putt putting around every day, like it, it does the thing. Well, I'm feeling it. it. It's definitely plenty of power. Like you, you don't need it. I mean, right. It depends on what you're doing for daily use. This is this is adequately quick. Yeah, it just feels like a comfy tour. First minute impression. Seriously, first minute impression is uh, I'm in love. Um, do I like it more than my GR? In certain ways, yes, for sure. In other ways, not so much. But I, I don't know. I uh, that might change over time. More, more towards the Integra side. Thoughts on the shifter clutch? Dealio. Clutch is very, very light. A lot lighter than the Integra. Uh, sorry, a lot lighter than the GR Corollas. The catch point is a lot lower. Feels good though. The shift lever is outstanding. There's just, there's nothing that compares to this. It's just, it feels short, like you mentioned earlier, like a short shifter, but it's just very smooth. It's like, it's like someone is buttering up the gearing like every single second. It's amazing. We're it's churning so Acura's butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. All right. I will give it a quick light pull here if you don't mind. Yep. Let me just wait for these cars to kind of move out. All right. Let's try this out. It takes a little bit to, uh, to get there, huh? Mm -hmm. Lower, well, low RPMs. Uh-oh, GT3. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, is auto rev matching always on? Is that something you can turn off? You actually can turn it off. Okay. Yep. And that, does it default to on? It defaults the to the off? last thing you had. Oh. So if you turn the car off in Sport Plus, it'll turn on in Sport Plus, Comfort, really? et cetera, yeah. Well, that, that is huge to me. Uh, I think more, more car manufacturers need to do that. Uh, for With the GR, for example, if you put the car in either Comfort or, or Eco, it will save that every time you start the car. If you put the car in Sport, it will revert back to Comfort every mm. time you start the car. 240p backup camera. Oh, oh, okay. If you wanna, you wanna talk right now. Go look at my. Drive the GR Corolla and then and then and then complain. All right. That's awesome. All right, thank you, man. Yeah, of course. All right, there goes Tanasi taking the GR Corolla out for his first spin. This is the first time I'm seeing someone else drive my car. It's always, it's always amazing or like weird, I guess, not amazing, seeing someone else drive your car. Sounds pretty good. All right, first stock three cylinder. So there is the Integra Type S, Tiger Eye Pearl, gorgeous color. If you're comparing this to the Type R, which of course, of course you are, I mean, that's the point, right? It's supposed to be a more luxurious Civic Type R, and you can see that, right? You can see it 
from inside and out. It looks less boy racer. I mean, granted, this color is just in your face. So the color aside, it looks very much less boy racer. You have a very subtle lip spoiler in the back. I love that. So this is in gloss black. You can get a carbon fiber option, you know, carbon fiber on the door, on the door mirror caps. I'm sure there's a couple other carbon fiber bits and pieces you can add, but the interior is wonderful. I know you can get this in multiple different interior colors. It's it's based on whatever exterior color you get, but this is the black leather interior with the red inserts. I know there's an orchid white interior, and there is a more pronounced red and black leather interior as well. And that also changes the coloring on this pillar section, if you will. I don't know what you want to call this, but arm bar, if you will, as well. But the inside of this car is, is just wonderful. That six speed, oh my God, that six speed is just, it's, it really is one of, if not the best, six-speed manual transmissions or just manual transmissions in general like this and the Civic Type R you know they they have the same transmission it very very easy to drive if you've never driven a manual transmission car and this is a car you're getting into even the Civic Type R very like you shouldn't be scared or worried that's very easy to learn very easy to pick up very easy to drive even in traffic the gauge display I wish it did a little bit more I wish it did a little more than just changing in colors like blue to red and black whatever it is I wish there was a little bit more there uh, these are small things kind of like how the Civic Type R has so the Civic Type R the Civic Type R gives you that insane display plus there's like a Type R mode like race mode on the multimedia screen also the seats the seats are really nice for sure the seats are really nice they look nice they are definitely very comfortable but the bolstering is does is just not aggressive um, for a car like this in my opinion I don't I personally don't need it to be insanely aggressive like the Type R bucket seats which are gorgeous and amazing but a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more side bolstering, you know, maybe thigh bolstering, something like that would have been very much appreciated, I think. Uh, granted, this is supposed to be a tour type car, so I, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll let that stuff slide, <laughs> on my opinion. I think the way the car looks, like the body of the car, especially the front end and the rear end, it's so aggressive. It just looks so incredible but classy at the same time. Like, it's, it's just, it's really cool. All right, gonna end the video here. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate all the support. And if you are stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing. Got tons of automotive content on the channel. And I wanna give a huge thank you to Tanasi for letting me check out his brand new Acura Integra Type S today. Beautiful car. Thank you so much for letting me check it out. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down below in the description. He has tons of Integra Type S content along with a lot of automotive content in general on his channel. So go ahead and check out his channel and give him some support. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Till next time. Peace.